normally I'd do my, whoa, back up, six feet, but uh, I don't mind this. <clears throat> you get that closer, you're gonna get punched in the mouth with my lips. Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. I am Espoir Duvit, and today I'm going to play a game called Favor. A game where life is treating us too good, our job kinda sucks, our friend kinda sucks, but at least we meet a handsome stranger in a bar who has a suspicious pair of horns and a tail. Uh, my head is pounding. My blurry vision soon readjusts to the dim pub. The sound of lazily approaching feet makes me glance upwards. Bah. Oh, hello there. Oh, did I interrupt your nap? Oh my, this is voiced. Oh my. Oh my, oh dear. Oh dear, oh my. <laughs> Sir? You already drank yourself into an early hangover, huh? <laughs> oh no. Say, uh, I may be really, really drunk, but do you have horns? I squint up in confusion at the strange man standing with a drink in his hand. I'm about to ask who he is when he starts to talk in a raspy, low voice. I'm kind of offended you wouldn't remember your good friend Z. Oh, hello, Z. Honestly, I thought that was an L for a second. I narrow my eyes at the man, my eyesight becoming clearer as I wake up. My memory following shortly thereafter. The strange man sits down opposite of me. <laughs> <gasps> His tail does a swishy swish! I'm sorry, sorry, I can't stop looking at your tail. I like your tail very much. You look like you don't even remember your own name. My name? Of course I do. It's... That's my name, right? <laughs> no, no, I remember my name. It is Espoir. I should count how many times I black out drunk in these games and have to remember my own name. Did you have a good nap, Espoir? That was quite lovely. You look like you're in pain. My head is splitting. Napping while drinking, honestly, it serves me right. I think my headache is going away, though. Hmm? Okay. Harder question. Do you remember your pronouns? <gasps> my pronouns! Uh. My pronouns, I've lost them! Uh, 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 uh. Lovely. I guess that isn't as hard. Do you remember my pronouns? It was he, him, and they, them, right? Oh? I didn't expect you to remember. Yes. I feel like they, them is more accurate, but humans have always referred to me as the former. He gives a small shrug. Z slides a glass full of sweet liquid. <laughs> Z slides a glass full of sweet liquid danger towards me. <laughs> hmm? That's what we're gonna call beer from now on. Liquid danger! I'm guessing you don't want this, then. <laughs> it's your usual, of course. I eye the drink, seeing the beautiful amber color shimmer in the glass. It's my favorite drink, but maybe I shouldn't. Z cocks his head to the side a bit. Hmm. Well, I guess there is a first for everything. What do you mean? You don't seem like the type of person who's good at resisting temptation. That's probably not very good coming from a, from a literal demon. I guess I'm just surprised. You don't even know me? The way you're looking at the glass is very... Z pauses, as if trying to find the right words. <laughs> <laughs> Starving cat-esque. Thanks. <laughs> Your trust in me is appreciated. Z sits across from me and rests his elbows onto the table, seeming more interested in myself than the drink in front of him. A thick silence drifts across us as he stares at me. Or, at least, I can only assume so, under that ungodly mop of hair. 
Z soon breaks the silence. So... You come here often? <laughs> yes, I'm a drinky drunk and I'm always in the bar. Um, is that supposed to be a pickup line? A mischievous smile stretches across his face. Hmm? What? Don't like that one? I did pansy. Okay, okay. What about this one? <sighs> he takes a deep breath, seemingly to compose himself. He seems to be taking this a bit too seriously. He looks at me with a grave look. Hmm. Help! I can't breathe. Z stares expectantly. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. Z excitedly fidgets a bit, just waiting for me to answer. Mm -mm. What am I supposed to do in this situation, sir? Uh, why? <laughs> because you took my breath away. Ugh, that's even worse. Oh my gosh, them chompers. Sir. Sir, them teeth. He's starting to tick all my boxes. He's meeting all my standards. Did it hurt when you... No. <laughs> what? You didn't even let me finish. No, please, just no. Next. <laughs> he seems to be enjoying himself quite a bit. Hmm? Okay, okay. What about this one? Nah. Z leans forward, a devilish smirk spreading across his face. You could be a sacrifice that even the devil says thank you for. Oh, I hope that wasn't foreshadowing. Hmm, that's actually creative. He opens his mouth again, but I jump in and quickly cut him off. Please, please, no more pickup lines. Spare me. Something dark flashes across Z's face as he shifts in his chair. Hmm? Well, if this sweet human is going to beg, then I guess I can stop. Thank <laughs> for now. Why you gotta say like that with the, with the spiky tongue? Why you, why you gotta do that, sir? I shoot a deadpan glance and take a sip of my drink. <laughs> he cackles a bit at my glare. My phone vibrates in my pocket, causing me to jump. I sigh, immediately assuming it's work, asking if I can pick up a shift tomorrow. As if reading my mind, Z asked, So... How's the job lately? It's not great, but I think it'll get better soon. Maybe... You give a sheepish smile. You know it's kind of a lie, but it would be rude to dump your frustrations on someone who is essentially a stranger. A stranger? Wearing weird cosplay horns and a tail. Hmm. Well, if it's not that bad, maybe you should take on more shifts. Oh, be quiet, you. <laughs> on second thought, maybe I should have dumped some frustrations on him. Yes. I can come and hang out with you. We can just sneak around and watch movies all day. We could make one of those human paper games with the boxes on it that you mark off when you do something. Oh, does, does he mean a drinking game? Or hmm? or bingo? Yeah, bingo. Uh, what are those called? Bondle card? <sighs> uh, Brildo? Bindle? Zay rubs his already messy hair with his hands, as if trying to get the word to physically surface in his head. You know what I'm talking about. The humans do it on boats when they're weak and nearing death, but still want to feel alive. Hey, I like bingo. <laughs> A bingo card? Yeah. That one. We make a great team. Anyways, if you ever get tired of work, we can just burn down the theater. Okay. Boy, that escalated quickly. <laughs> what? Yes. Like, light it on fire. <laughs> no, we should not do that. Oh? But why? I muster all of the sarcasm I can. <laughs> because then, where would we watch movies? Mm? Ah, that's right. Mm. 
Watching them at home isn't the same as me taking you to the movies for a date. Hmm. How could I be so careless? I facepalm as my sarcasm has flown far above his head. Wait, I don't even know what kind of movies you like. So... What movies do you like? Uh, comedy. Yeah, more than anything, I like comedy. I really like comedy. It feels good to laugh. I mean, specifically, I like, uh, weird 90s movies, but whatever. Even if I'm not happy, comedy makes me feel a little bit better. I don't really understand comedy. <sighs> the human sense of humor can be strange. Well, what is something that recently happened that you found funny? Hmm. Probably somebody, like, slipping and falling into a sewer to him or something. Hmm. Yes. <laughs> the other day, Z suddenly stops talking. Uh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Why? What? Why did you stop mid-sentence? He rubs his head, seemingly conflicted. <laughs> Humans are just so different. I don't want you screaming and running from me, you know? <laughs> at least, not on the first date. If that was your attempt at humor, that was bad. Z just smiles. Hmm. I just don't think I'll ever understand the human sense of humor. I find it, uh, what's the word? Cringy? <laughs> Shut up. Why do you keep talking about... Humans in the third person. What, are you like an alien that came to Earth to critique our crappy movies or something? Espoir, you see the horns. You see the swishy, swishy tail. Obviously. Either this person takes his cosplay way too seriously, or he's a flippin' demon. <laughs> <laughs> you wish. I bet you dream of my probing. Z waggles his eyebrows. Oh no! He read my mind! <laughs> You're disgusting. Z cackles, as horrifyingly sharp as his teeth appear. His smile is somewhat cute. Anyways... I do really enjoy watching movies. Even though most of the time my job sucks but It's nice to be able to watch a movie for free on nights where hardly anyone shows up. I watch movies, too. Oh, yeah? Z puffs out his chest, giving a proud look. <laughs> I've seen 20 or so. Haha. <laughs> I start to cough to cover up my laughter when I realize that he didn't mean it as a joke. Wow, all 20 of them, huh? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I have a few more to go. <laughs> Before we met, I wasn't really interested. But watching you watch... But seeing you so passionate about them made me want to watch them too. I wouldn't say I'm passionate. Hmm. Maybe my misinterpretation then. Either way, movies are just such a human creation. <sighs> I just don't understand them. What do you mean? Z takes a moment to think. So... For instance, you know those superhero movies, right? Yeah? They, uh, the heroes, are always so determined to carry out justice without killing the bad guy. Even if that idea of justice only causes further suffering, death, and damage to those they swear to protect. That is true, but I guess we, the viewer, are supposed to be impressed by the hero's moral fortitude or something. Hmm? Is it morals, or is it just selfish desire? The evil villains always get caught and go to jail. Then, they immediately break out of jail to do worse crimes, even sometimes harming those the hero claims to love and want to protect. <laughs> we're, we're looking at you, Batman! We're looking exactly at you. <sighs> Do the heroes even want to stop crime? Or is it that they just enjoy carrying out justice? I don't understand. He's got a point. He's got a point. 
Despite all of this, humans still dress up, purchase paper magazines, and little idols of those heroes to adorn their houses. Humans idolize heroes for their blind devotion to their selfish desires, yet hate villains for their blind devotion to their selfish desires. <sighs> I just don't understand why any hero would act under the guise that they were doing altruistic good. So then, as a hero, what would you do instead? Hmm. I'd protect those I want to protect. And if anyone dared to touch those I protect... Z's voice darkens. I'd tear them limb from fluffing limb. Just for simply having the thought. A shiver moves down your spine as you adjust in your seat. I... uh... That was kinda hot, not gonna lie, sir. <clears throat> I don't think that's considered something a hero would do, by most people's standards at least. That would be more of a villain line. Hey, you could always be an anti-hero. People love anti-heroes. But humans will see a hero as someone that would sacrifice their loved one for the greater good. See? Humans are so confusing. Z sighs and plays with his hair in thought. <sighs> Humans would rather relate to talking cars than characters that do some immoral acts. I don't think that is entirely true. But either way, talking cars? Y yeah, yeah, yeah. Humans kind of have a thing for talking cars. Is that seriously one of the 20 movies you've watched? Sometimes you start watching a movie because you overhear it being recommended to someone else. And then, when you start to watch the movie, it looks really brainless. But despite that, you push on and continue to watch it. <laughs> Did he watch Cars 2 and he just couldn't look away? I've actually never seen any of the Cars movie. I don't really intend to, I don't know. Because you know what they say. Hmm? <laughs> Life is a highway. Ha 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 I face palm with a groan. Stop. <laughs> ka -chow. How dare you, sir. <laughs> a demon watching cars. It's kind of adorable. Seriously, why did you decide to watch it? It was on my list of movies to watch. How did it get on the list? He gives a small shrug. I heard some people talking about it, and I got curious. I'm not going to lie, I really don't know what I was expecting, and I was still surprised. I'd like to see the rest of this list. Z gives a small smile. He looked almost bashful. Ah, that's right. I left it at home. You narrow your eyes, <laughs> did ya now? That feels like a lie for some reason. Anyway, I read online that the movie-watching experience is greatly improved when you're with someone else. Uh-huh. Yes. Like, really closely with them. Without any obstructions between yourself and the other person. Is that right? He seems to have gained some confidence in his answer. Yeah. Yep. I read it online. Uh, <laughs> moviewatching.com? <laughs> I'm thinking you shouldn't do it any other way because it would be wrong. So I should find someone to cuddle with whenever I want to watch movies. Yes. Z gives a look of surprise as if a sudden realization had just hit him. Oh? Hey, now that you mention it, I have an idea. I laugh out loud, unable to hold myself back anymore. Z. His face softens at my laughter. Are you being this obvious on purpose? Hmm? I could be less obvious, if you want. How? His face scrunches in thought. So... I have a lot of movies that I need to watch for... For... Anyways. <laughs> ah, that's right. I read in 
a medical journal that 10 out of 10 doctors agree cuddling with a demon is good for your health. <laughs> I want that on a shirt. Doctors say cuddling with a demon is good for your health. <laughs> I don't think anyone has ever said that. So... I was thinking, if I have to watch movies for uh, something, it would be mutually beneficial for both of us to cuddle. You are so bad at this. You should quit while you're ahead, honestly. <laughs> Am I ahead? No, no, not really. Maybe. So maybe I shouldn't quit then. No, you definitely should. Okay, okay. Fine. He sighs in defeat, jokingly. <sighs> Humans are so confusing. Okay, I have to ask. Why do you keep saying humans as if you aren't one too? Yeah. I'm not. What? I'm not a human. I grimace a bit. Of course the cute guy interested in me isn't sane. Do, do you not see his swishy swishy tail? But on second thought, I suppose I should have been able to see that coming based off of the, uh, choice of dress and the weird body modifications to his teeth. I wonder if they hurt. Mm -mm. I glance at the weird horns and tail he's wearing. I grab my glass, deciding I am not under enough of any influence to bring up this weird subject. After swallowing the burning liquid, I face him. You seem to have, uh, some hobbies. Are you cosplaying right now? Hmm? Cosplay? What is that? Some kind of sex thing? I mean, kind of. <laughs> it d depends. No, absolutely not. Mm. Well, I guess technically it could be. Yeah, it, it could be. Could be. Usually isn't, but it could be. Oh. Oh, so bold of you to ask my sexual preferences in public like this. <laughs> You're going to make me feel all shy and stuff. I somehow doubt that. <laughs> he scans the pub in an exaggerated manner and then leans in close. Ah! The smell of coal, whiskey, and licorice drifts across my senses as he whispers. You're kind of freaky, aren't you? No. Don't look at my chart of my 60 anime husbands. My 60 fictional husbands. Don't 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 look at that. <laughs> you do that to me, I'm going to have to get you married, sir. You get that close. He leans back and cackles at my speechless look. In the context I was using, I didn't mean it as a sex thing. I was just wondering if you like to dress up as characters. He tilts his head. Hmm? Like a costume? Yeah. I don't think so. Not really. But if it's your sex thing, I'd give it a try. Oh my god, it's not my sex thing. <laughs> he laughs harder at my exasperation. You're doing this on purpose. How dare you make me so flustered, sir? Z shrugs and shows his tongue. How dare how 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 dare you? Maybe. Ah! I'm taking psychic damage from how hot he is. <laughs> Enough about me though. What do you like to do? I like to play video games, preferably rhythm games, and I like to draw. I really enjoy cosplaying and committing acts of arson. <laughs> no, that, that's for a second playthrough. I like to watch movies and play video games. I guess I like to watch movies, play video games, read, sometimes do creative stuff. I think I like to consume stories, really. Oh yes, absolutely. That's one of the reasons I like to play these games. I just like neat characters and cool stories. Yeah. I like video games. Do ya? I feel like I could have guessed that based off of how you were dressed. Oh? Is it the striped shirt? I'm just going to ignore that. <clears throat> what games do you like? Hmm. I haven't played that many. I just learned about them. 
as he smiles wide, cackling evilly. Sir? <laughs> Humans get so mad when you're better than them. Their shrill voices screaming threats really makes my day. <laughs> How will these humans accomplish their little threats? I don't even have a mother. <laughs> so he's playing Battlefield and Call of Duty. <laughs> <laughs> Stupid humans. Z cackles loudly as if he has truly got one over on the humans. <laughs> yeah, the 12 year olds playing Call of Duty. My mouth opens and closes a couple of times. I truly don't know how to respond. He seems so proud of himself that I decide to keep my mouth shut and nod. <laughs> Just smile mm. and nod. What else do you like to do for fun? Visit the pub? I guess I like talking to strangers at pubs. Oh? Yeah, that'd be, that'd be, that'd be nice. If I wasn't antisocial. <laughs> if I wasn't scared of public. Oh. Is that considered a hobby? Oh, it probably could be. No, I don't think so. I just couldn't think of anything else. Maybe I work too much. <laughs> so, to me, it's sounding like your life could be improved by a little arson. No, not arson! Not crimes! N no, not all problems can be solved with arson. <laughs> Blowing stuff up or setting them on fire? I, I know several characters who would be all for that. Z pouts. Maybe. Some are. No, they aren't. <laughs> fine, fine. No arson then. Why are you like this? Yes. A demon's gotta be proud of what they got, right? <laughs> I'm just saying. I could teach you a few things. Uh oh. As he rambles on about the underappreciated benefits of arson, <laughs> I go to pick up my glass to take another drink. Empty. I must have drank it all without realizing. My eyes feel droopy, as I notice that most people have already left the pub. God, how late is it? I fold my arms and rest my head on the table, a yawn escaping my lips. My jacket sleeve is comfier than I remember. I half listen to Z ramble a bit more. After about 20 more minutes of Z talking, he pauses, smiling down at my sleepy form. Hmm? You look tired, Espoir. Ah. My vision of Z becomes blurry. It becomes harder to keep my eyes open. I should probably go home before I fall asleep here. Again. Good idea. <laughs> I enjoyed talking with you. Like always. <laughs> have... Have we met him before? Hmm. Despite the voiced thought, my eyes grow heavier. Z becomes blurrier until he fades into darkness. Before consciousness left me, I felt a hand softly patting my head. Don't worry. You're safe here. Oh. Am I? We will have so much fun together. Oh no! Just you and me. Oh no! Oh dear! <laughs> I like Z. Z's fun. Alcohol? Oh, I'll be having that. I'm actually not a very big alcohol person. I like Angry Orchard. That's like the only beer I'll reliably drink. I whisk away the glass of temptation and take a gulp. The sweet and sour, rooty taste hits my throat. Headache already almost faded due to the sweet nature of alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> I can hear your liver dying from here. That's kind of rude. Oh? Oh, is it? My bad. Sorry, Espoir. I didn't mean to offend you. It's nice seeing you happy. I just like to see you honest with yourself when enjoying your favorite things. I wouldn't say alcohol is one of my favorite things. Z sits across from me and rests his elbows onto the table seeming more interested in myself than the drink in front of him. 
It honestly just sucks, and I don't think it'll get better. Yes. If it sucks, hit the bricks. Wanna burn the theater down? You know what, actually burning the theater down sounds like a good idea. In this playthrough, really. <laughs> That's kinda extreme. Arson is honest work. I don't think it is. <laughs> it's not as easy as people think. How about we just scratch this whole idea? Best not to encourage arson, even as a joke. I can't rely on the good judgment of some weird guy wearing horns and a tail. <laughs> ah, that's right. How do you feel about bombs? What? No! Even as a joke, you can't say that crap. I look around the pub swiftly. <laughs> what if someone heard you say that? The police could arrest you for terrorism, probably. Z barks out a harsh laugh. <laughs> <laughs> the human police arresting me? I'd like to see them try. I blink, incredulous, incredulously, incredulously. You're fluffing nuts. Hmm. I guess it would be kind of a shame if we blew it up. I sigh, completely giving up. And why is that? Yes. Because we wouldn't be able to see movies together. And I'd be out of a job? <laughs> Z waves his hand dismissively. I don't think so. Uh, you don't need one of those. <laughs> it would be fun to cuddle up together. And you could grab onto me when something scares you. Wait. I don't even know what kind of movies you like. So... What kind of movies do you like? Romance is my second favorite. Romance is nice, I guess. It feels pretty rare these days, though. Z tilts his head, curiously. Yeah. Good answer. I wouldn't have guessed that you liked romance, though. Yeah, well, reality is unfulfilling and messy. Hmm. It doesn't have to be. It will be, as long as two imperfect people are together. It doesn't have to be two people. What, like one is a swamp monster? I guess it could work. I can't help but to laugh. Z's face softens. But people will always come in and mess up your happy life anyways. Or maybe the monster was just that all along, a monster. I give a sigh. <sighs> Reality sucks. People suck. Z stares at my face and gives a little sympathetic smile. I smile a bit, enjoying our talk. For how crazy he's dressed, it's nice to not get a disregarding response toward expressing one of my interests. It's stupid, but I'm kind of surprised you didn't scoff at my answer. Hmm? Why? Usually people think that romance genre is cheap or pathetic. Hmm. Romance is an emotion I struggle to understand, but it is one of the most powerful human motivators. Yes. Packs have been made for romance, wars have been fought, crimes have been committed in the name of romance. <laughs> I fail to see what makes romance something to be scoffed at. I can't help but to smile a little. Thanks, C. Anyways... You know, that, that arson, that arson starting to sound like a really good idea. I really enjoy cosplaying. And committing acts of arson. Wow, Z, we have so much in common. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you little smart butt. You little wisecracker. Wisecracker. You bat your eyelashes, innocently. <laughs> Whatever could you mean, Mr. Demon? I only thought it would be a great date idea for us. Mm. Z smirks, darkly, tapping his long nails onto the table. He then drags his index nail down the table, making a deep mark in its path. <laughs> Keep this up, little human, and you'll regret it. What, I thought he would think that would be funny. <laughs> Boo, don't be such a poor sport. Hmm? 
what else do you like to do for fun? Visit the pub? No, I'm just trying to find more hobbies right now. I don't really come here that often. I'm trying to find more hobbies to do, but... I work pretty often to be able to afford living, I guess. And when I get off of work, I just don't have the energy to do much. <laughs> so, to me, it's sounding like your life could be improved by a little arson. No, not all problems are solved with arson. I kind of want to see what the other, uh, what the other things say. Yeah. Uh, so you like when something has you on the edge of your seat, then? Hmm. Explosions, big fights, daring stunts, fire, lots of fire. Z pulls out a little paper from his pocket and writes something down. Even though everyone likes action on some level, why does it feel like I'm giving him weird assumptions about me? I like to live a fairly calm life without any, uh, daring stunts. Why did I feel the need to say that? Ah, that's right. Ah, okay, I see. Z crosses out whatever he wrote on the paper. <laughs> While he moves to put it back in his pocket, I catch a glance. Amatol? <laughs> Don't worry about it, cutie. Anyways... Horror, which is an outright lie. <laughs> oh? Oh, me too. Well, some of them I like. Some are just laughable. Hey, that, that, that's a comedy. <laughs> Bad horror movies are a comedy for a demon, I guess. Yeah, horror tends to be like that. The laughable part can be endearing sometimes, though. Z smiles, as if he's looking at something cute. Hmm? Well, maybe you could show me sometime how endearing they are. Do you like the bloody ones or the possession ones? Um, I like the ones where I save my game. Uh, honestly, I don't really like, I don't really like either. But slashers have some cool characters in them sometimes. I think the slashers are pretty fun to watch. Hmm. Hmm. Do you like to guess who will survive? Generally, I think the survivor is pretty obvious, but I do love a good subversion. <laughs> do you think you would survive in a slasher flick? Oh no, haha, <laughs> probably not. Ho <laughs> Oh, I bet you would be one heck of a fighter though. Yeah. If I can make the slasher laugh and maybe he'll think I'm cute, maybe he'll spare me for a while. For a while. Till I get on his nerves. Maybe like the second to last kill. Yeah. Like I'd be the one that thinks they're gonna survive and then I like trip on a rock and then the, the killer's like, she's not too bright, is she? Really? I think I would prefer to be the first kill. You know, to set the tone of impending doom for the rest of the movie and all. Oh? Well, I'd love to see that. Not a weird thing to say at all. <laughs> Z laughs at my sarcasm. <laughs> no way, little human. In my movie, I'd protect you. Oh, will you? Yeah. I could make one heck of a final girl and whisk you away to safety. Aww. I'm not sure if this is something I respond thank you to. Z just smiles. <clears throat> Anyways... What does he have to say about possessions? I think I prefer possessions. Z fidgets a bit in his chair. Oh? Oh. I find them scarier. To have to fight against some invisible force that is way more power than you? Stop, you're making him excited, Espoir. But I guess in the movies, they always find a way. Some priest will come by or the main character can read Latin. <laughs> Unrealistic. He acts as if he's personally affronted by that. <laughs> I mean, possessions aren't really realistic anyways. Hmm? Hmm? I mean, why would a demon want to possess a random person? Maybe if they were, like, a billionaire, I'd get it. Z nods, thoughtfully in agreement. I wonder what it would be like to be possessed, though. 
That's the wrong choice of words, espoir. Like, is your spirit yeeted out? Or do you exist with another spirit, like brain roomies? <laughs> brain roomies, that's great. That's a great name for something. Or does it start out feeling like normal, but then soon your skin is crawling and something feels like it's inside of you, slowly influencing you? Z's smile shrinks into a small one. I know it's weird to consider, but maybe it would be painful. Or maybe it would feel good? Maybe like an erotic closeness that goes beyond what humans can understand or perceive. You're, 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 giving, you're giving too much f fire to his flames. You're giving him too much ammunition, Espoir. Stop! Sorry, I went off there. I don't know what I was... Z suddenly hops out of his chair, leaning forward over the table. His face is so close, he smells like embers and licorice. Hmm? <laughs> Sir! Monsieur! Do you want to? What? If you want to invite me in, y you can try me out. I'd love to. Sink into your warm skin. <laughs> Goodness, game espoir, now you got me thinking about how position might feel. Both of you cut it out. His breathing becomes a bit heavy as his expression becomes increasingly bizarre. He breathes in deeply. His voice drops to a husky whisper. Just thinking about it makes me so excited. <laughs> I can hear your blood rushing from here. You are excited too. And you, you smell, you smell so, so good. good. Oh no! What? What? Now normally, Normally, I'd do my, whoa, back up, six feet, but, uh, I don't mind this. <clears throat> you get that closer, you're gonna get punched in the mouth with my lips. <laughs> Z inches closer, his hand reaching out towards my face. Are you in character? Or is that your way of asking me for a hookup? You're being a flippin' weirdo, Z. He doesn't seem to be registering what I'm saying. Z Zay! Listen here, Zed! At my yell, Z suddenly falls back into his seat as if he himself was surprised by his actions. Oh. Ah, that's right. <laughs> Sorry. I got a little. insane? Passionate. Hmm? What were we talking about again? Anyways, let's let's not bring up demon possessions ever again. Yet. <laughs> Do you think you would survive in a slasher flick? Yes! I lied. Oh? Oh, so bold of you. Z tosses me a teasing look. <laughs> Maybe you could protect me. I give a laugh at the idea. <laughs> you look more like the thing that would be hunting me. A dark look shifts across Z's face. Mm. Hmm. I'm certainly not opposed to that idea. Yes. I could give you a good chase, and then snatch you up. My face heats up, and I can't seem to look at him. <laughs> Sir, you going the right way for a smoochin'. Okay, last one I haven't tried yet. Drama. I like dramas, only when the actors are good, of course. Oh? You don't feel tired from watching humans experience tragedy? No, they distract me from my own problems in life, I guess. Z smiles in a mischievous way. <laughs> Do you cry while watching the sad parts? I can comfort you if you cry. He smiles, bashfully, which seems to be a weird contrast to his bold appearance. Thanks for the offer, but I think I got it covered. Hmm. What? 
Someone else isn't comforting you, right? He stares intensely. Right? Comforting me? Do you think my life is like a drama? The only person giving me the time of day seems to be a weirdo with a roleplay fetish. Z leans over the table, closing close sound to me. <laughs> ah. Who? What do they look like? Are they tall? Do they wear an eye patch? I look at him, curiously. What? The weirdo with a fetish. What do they look like? Did they ever try and talk to you? They are talking to me right now. His face shrinks back into a smile as he sits back down into his seat. Ugh, no one else is interested in me. Are you sure? What kind of question is that? Yeah. Hmm, yeah. It doesn't matter anyways. <laughs> because you have me. Anyways... Well, that was favor and- Oh my gosh! This artwork is so beautiful. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. So much work has been put into this game and this is just the first chapter and- And who? Oh boy. Z, come on now. <laughs> You're coming on a little bit too strong. Or not strong enough. <laughs> I like- I like Zed. Zed. Z. He's- he's pretty cool. He has a swishy tail. I like his swishy tail. But I will patiently wait for any updates or for more news of this game because it is gorgeous. It's absolutely gorgeous. Ah, it's so gorgeous. Well, anyway, thank you so much for hanging out with me. Take care of yourself. Have a great night. And remember, there is always hope.